is up guys phoenix here and welcome back to part two of my ghost rider pixel art tutorial so if you guys are looking at behind me you can see how ghost rider is supposed to look and he shouldn't be looking like that at the end of this part he doesn't look like that right now and so we're going to continue and i'll get back to it in a second so now we're finally moving on to the chain part of the pixel art and we actually did this part wrong when i told you how to do it earlier so where this one is above that one hanging by itself is supposed to have the two to the left like that and above here now is when I have that one single so if you don't know what it is if you didn't know where the change was well I'll just delete it whoops and show you it again where this one's dangling by itself above it we're gonna put one cyan stain clay and then one to the left of that then from that cyan stain clay we're gonna up into the right one single and that's what we did now starting the chain we're gonna go to the left side of this hoof line right here and add two more going straight up from it. One, two. And then the right side, we're gonna add one to this. And the way we close the chain gap is just by going up and to the right, one single, or up and to the left, one single, like that. And now I'm gonna show you how to fill in the chain every time we do one. The bottom is going to be light gray, and the top is going to be white. So that's the way it works on all chain pieces. And from here on out, the way we do chain loops, so we have four more chain loops to do before we hit the top. So I'm gonna do the first one with you and then we'll do three more after that, just really quickly. So the first chain loop, what you do is from the single, we go up and to the right and up and to the left, two vertical on each side, as you can see. And that's how we get the inner chain part. Then we close it by going up and to the right or up and to the left, one single. So that's one chain loop. And now we have three more to do together. And I remember how I told you to color it in, light gray on bottom, white wool on top. So now let's do the next three really quickly and I'll just annotate it. So up and to the right, two, up and to the left, two, then close the gap like that. That's one. Now let's do another one, up and to the right, two, up and to the left, two, close the gap, gap with one, that's two. And now let's do another one, up and to the right, two, up and to the left, two, and then close the gap with another single, that's three. And there is more chains to do. It's just that we're in the palm of his hands now. So this chain right there that's going to fit in the gap where I'm swinging at is a little bit more crumpled than the rest of them. So let's color in a chain. We have grays on the bottom. Uh, I'm so bad. And white on the top. Gray on the bottom. White on the top. There we go. And you see it's starting to look like the chain from over there. Yep. It's exactly how it's supposed to look. And now going above this now where we have this nice gap right here. All we're going to do is above this on this cyan stain clay we're gonna put our light gray above it then our white wool then everything else is going to be cyan stain clay that just saves you a lot of time right there so fill in all of this extra space right here it's cyan stain clay and it just makes it look like there's a crumpled piece of chain in his hand because he's grab he's like gripping it with his um his like his bare hands you know what i'm saying just just really really just just gonna hit you with the chain you know the fight for the flame chain goes get over here oh wait no that's mortal kombat oh wrong game so <laughs> we're gonna do the hand before we start the next chain so from the hand what we're gonna do is start in this little pit right here and we're gonna put three pieces of light blue stained clay going up one two three then we're gonna up and to the right one single and that's it for that part right there then we're gonna go over to the left side so two over and right next to this one single wool we're gonna go to the right of it and we're gonna put two of those clays going up like this we're then gonna go up and to the left one single then up and to the right two flat so your hand should look like this so far and then the way we're gonna color it in is we're gonna switch to our light gray wool and this corner right here where I'm swinging at is gonna be light gray one two then this corner block is gonna be light gray and above it to the right is gonna be light gray And then everything else is going to be white wool. So white, white, white. So let me show you. This is the hand right now. Pause the game if you need to. I mean, pause the video if you need to so you can see it. And then we'll start the next part of the chain. Should be really easy to follow along if you were following the steps as I place them. So for the next part of the chain, we're going to go to where we have this two vertical blacks right here. And to the left of the bottom one, we're going to take our science stain clay and put two going to the left. One, two. We're then going to go down to the left, two vertical. 
and from the bottom block in the two vertical we're gonna put one to the left and go below it three vertical one two three so just see how it looks so we have two two and then four flat I mean four vertical connected like right directly to the left of it now from the other side of this two vertical here we're gonna go down into the right two vertical because remember it's a chain so I'm at the top of the hand it looks kind of awkward but as we go in the loops start looking normal again so from that two vertical we're gonna go down into the left three vertical one and as you can see it touches this block on the right side one two three and now the chain loop start again so the chain loop is going to start over here on this side where I'm looking at right now so what we're going to do is go to this four vertical and go down into the left two vertical from there and then the way we close the chain loop is we go down into the right or down into the left one single like so and that's our chain loop we can use this single to continue so from here we're going to do one two three four five six more normal chain loops before things get weird so let's just do six more going down so we go down to the left two vertical down to the right two vertical then close the gap with one single that's one and we need to do five more now so down to the left two vertical down to the right two vertical and close the gap with a single four more now let me set time set day so there's four more let's do that again then you close the gap that's three more down to left two vertical down to the right two vertical then close the gap with one single two more now down to left two vertical whoops down to right two vertical then close the gap and now we have one more okay so right now we should be directly even with the one we have over here as you can see we are so we have one more to go after that so down to left two vertical down to right two vertical then close the gap with the single Booyah. Now there's a lot of detail to do right here. Weather clear. I don't have time for this. So from this final one in the chain, what we're going to do is go to the bottom block. So this single right here. And we're going to put one below it, like so. Then to the left of this, whoops. So we put one below this single right here. But to the left of it, we're going to put two going to the left, like so. So it looks like this. Because the chain's going to be flat on the ground, kind of as you can see right there where I'm swinging at. So from these two um, flats right here, we're going to go down to the left, one single. Up and to the left, two flat. Down to the left, one single. Up and to the left, two flat. Down to the left, one single again. Then down to the left, two vertical. So it should look like this. Okay, really simple. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now we're going to go to the bottom half where I'm swinging at right now. And we're just going to go down into the left from there until we touch this block at a diagonal, which should be about eight blocks, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight blocks. Perfect. Then from the last two on the left side in our eight, we're going to put one below each of them. I remember we're using cyan stained clay for this part. And as you can see, we have these belt loop, I mean these these chain loops right here created. Now to close this chain loop right here, we go down its left one single. And now for the final chain from this single, we're gonna go down into the right, three flat. One, two, three. And then from the third block, we're just gonna put one above it, and that finishes the chain. So his entire chain is done now, and we can color it in with light grays. So on the bendy parts right here, the light gray is going on the left side, but otherwise, if it's vertical, the light gray is going to the bottom. So left equals bottom. So left side light gray is on the flat ones, as you can see. But going up like this, the bottom ones are the light grays. So just keep the same structure as before. Nothing's changed. And then up here, close to the hand, both of them are going to be light gray because he's like gripping it, so it has like a little shadow over it, as you can see creates like a little shading effect. And now we're gonna color in the rest of the chain with white wool for the parts that we missed. Oh Lord, I missed it. <laughs> so one white wool, white wool, white, white, white. It's filling everything. It's looking pretty good. 
Okay, so that's the chain. And now we're gonna move on to the other part of the glove. So the next glove over here on the right side, we're gonna start from the bottom left corner right here with our light blue stained clay and put one in the corner. Then from there, we're gonna go up and to the right, three flat, one, two, three, like so. Now from the left block on the three flat, we're gonna put one above it and one to the left. And then all the way on the right side of the three flat, we're gonna go up and to the right, one single, and that's that. Then you can completely color in this glove with white wool. So just color it in, white, 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 there we go. All right, now his jacket, we're gonna get completely light gray colored. Oh wait, we're gonna complete all the light gray colors first. So starting with, um, let's start from the bottom. So we already did his pants right here. So these should be all cyan stained clay, which I'll color in later. Um, I'll do that time lapse of that. So for the light gray wool right here, we're gonna start where we have the light gray waiting right here. We're gonna go up and to the left, two vertical from there. One, two. Then the top block gets one to the left. And that's it for that quadrant. From this last place block right here, we're gonna count up three spaces and then put a light gray. So one, two, three, as you can see right there, we've got the light gray wool. Then from that light gray wool, we're gonna go up and to the left, two vertical. Then up and to the left, one single. Let me just zoom out so you can see how it looks. Freeze the screen if you need to and just mimic this. If you weren't able to zoom in and look at it when I was doing it, just freeze the screen and you should be able to find the spots right now. Now going back down to this single right here I'm swinging at, we're gonna up and to the right, two light gray walls from it. Two flat light gray walls like that. Then above that, we're gonna put two flat cyan stained clay. Then two rows of flat light gray wool. So let me just zoom out so you can see how it looks. Perfect. Now we're gonna go over to the right side of his jacket right here I'm swinging in this little gap right here. The top block and this little two vertical is gonna get light gray wool. Then going up and to the left from that, we're gonna go two vertical light gray wools. One, two. Then this is gonna get skipped. We're gonna go up and to the left right here. We have this two gap right here and fill this in with light gray as well. So once again, pause the screen if you need to and copy this. Now from those two vertical light gray wools right here, we're gonna go up and to the right. One cyan stained clay. Then four light gray wools going to the right of that. One, two, three, four. Then a cyan stained clay to close out this. So from here now, we're done with the light gray wool completely. Everything else on this picture is going to be colored in cyan stained clay. And you can color that in right now. I'll time lapse this for you guys so you guys can see it. And there we have it. There's his jacket and stuff so far. So next, we're gonna finish up this pixel art, this long, long, long pixel art part that's been, thought it was gonna go a lot smoother than this, by doing his flames and stuff in his hair. So that's all going to be with what blocks? Let me see. Oops, we're gonna use black wool, cyan stain clay, dark gray wool, light gray wool, and white. So we're gonna be using all the colors, actually. So I thought we were done with light gray wool. We're not. So what we're gonna do first is switch over to our black wool. And on the right side where we have this black wool, this one single right here, we're gonna go up and to the left from it, three flat. One, two, three. Then up and to the left, two flat, two times in a row. So one, two, one, two. So we have three, two, two. Let me set time, set day. There we go. After those two flats, we're gonna go up and to the left, three vertical, one, two, three and from the top block in the three vertical we're gonna put one to the left like so so it creates like a sidewards upside down L it's kind of weird <laughs> then from the single we're gonna go up and to the left two vertical one two up and to the left four vertical one two three four 
and we're just getting the skeleton shape shaped out so from the four now we're gonna start going up into the right to get the circle uh, the circular shape of his skull so we're gonna go up into the right two vertical up into the right two flat up into the right five flat one two three four five and this five is the top of his head so we're gonna be going down from there so we're gonna go down to the right two flat one two down to the right one single down to the right three vertical one two three down to the right three vertical again one two three and from the bottom block on the three vertical we're gonna go to the left of it and put four going straight down one two three four now from the third block and the four we just placed we're gonna put one to the left then go down into the left one Then we're gonna go to the fourth block. So from the third block, we did those two things, but from the fourth block, we're gonna go down into the left three vertical. One, two, three. And that completes the skeleton scape, uh, shape of his skull. Yeah, just making sure it's even. Now it's time for the inner parts of his eyes and stuff like that. So we're gonna switch to our science stained clay. And actually we're gonna do the flames first before we do the inner parts of the skull. That way the flames come in and then we'll be done after that. So we're gonna switch to orange stained clay and on this bottom row right here, where we have the two blacks right here, we're just going to fill this all in with orange stain clay. Then to the left of the three flat right here, we're going to put one yellow stained clay. Like that. And then we're going to go all the way to the left with more orange stain clay again. So it should look like this now. Now next row, we're going to do the same thing we just did with the yellow stain clay, except it's going to be two of them now. So two of them going to the left of the next row. And then we're going to put four orange stained clay going to the left. One, two, three, four. Now from the last block in that orange stained clay we just placed, we're going to go up above it. One, and then put two going to the left. One, two. Then we're going to go to the last block again, put one going above that, and put one going to the left now. So just one. Now from those two flats we have waiting here right now, we're going to go above that. On the left one, we're going to put two going above it. So one, two. And on the right one, we're just going to put one going above it. One. So our shape should look like this so far. Now, from the two vertical blocks right here, we're going to put one to the left of each of them. One. One. And then from this, for the top one on the right side now, because remember we only put one above this two on the two flat. So this top one right here, we're going to put two going to the right of that. One. Two. And then from the newly created, so the, not the first one right here, these two um, bleh, these two blocks we just created, we're going to put one above each of them. So it looks kind of like two bricks, and then it's separated in the center with a blank space. <laughs> so on the left brick over here, we're going to go up into the left one single from this corner block. And on the right, blick, bleh, right brick, we're going to go to the top left block again. Except instead of going up into the left, we're just going to go above it two vertical pieces of orange stained clay. Then we're gonna go to the left one, then up into the left one. And that's it for the orange stained clay on the left side. We still have more to do on the right side and we'll be done with it. So on the right side, we're gonna go to this orange stained clay right here and go up into the right two flat. Then from this right block right here, we're gonna put one on top, one to the right. Then from this final block right here, we're gonna put two going straight up from it one two and then from those two we just placed we're gonna put two extra blocks going to the right of each of them one two one two okay so now we should have three up here and three on the bottom all we're going to do is go to these two on the right at the top the top right two blocks right here and above them, we're going to put an extra block, so one, one, and then a third block going to the right, just dangling off the edge by itself. So on this new three plank we just created, the left block, we're going to put two going above it, one, two, and the right block, we're going to put one going above it, one, like so. We're then going to go to the left side again, we're going to go up and to the right, two vertical, one, two then up into right two vertical again one two and as you can see it creates like the first base of the flame 
all we're gonna do to finish it now is go up to the top of the skull right here you see where we have the top plank right here on the left side and right side we're gonna put one orange stained clay like this and then going down to the right over here to the first three vertical we have right here we're gonna go to the bottom block so after that one single we have a three vertical the bottom block in it is gonna get one orange stained clay to the right of it and now we're completely done with orange stained clay so for the skeleton, first off, what we're going to do is switching over to our cyan stained clay. We're going to go below this singular block right here. So below that, we're going to put one cyan stained clay down below it. And then from that cyan stained clay, we're going to put four to the left of it. So one, two, three, four. So it should be five long now. So from this first one, we're going to do nothing to it. The second one, we're going to put one below it. Third one, we're putting one above it fourth one we're putting one below it and fifth one we're putting one above it so it just goes down up down up as you can see and then on the opposite side of this black wool we're just gonna put one up from it so you should have this so far for the skeleton's face then to wrap up what we're gonna be doing here we're gonna go over to this backwards R or upside down L shape right here and we're gonna line up three vertical sign stain clays to the right like so we're then going to go up into left two flat. Then going to the left block and the two flat right here. We're going to bring it up two more. One, two. Then from this top block right here and the, the two we just added, we're going to go up into the right two singles. One, two. So you should have something that looks like this now and it ends above the three vertical as you can see. And from that two single, um, the second block of the single, sorry about the stutter. <laughs> We're going to put one block above it, like so. And then from that block, we just put one above. So this one right here, the bottom one. We're putting three to the left of it. One, two, three. And just to close out the shape on this corner block right here, we're putting one above it. And then we can color in that corner right there because that's not um, anything special. We're just going to color it in. And overall, his face should look like this right now. Next, we're going to switch to light gray and we're going to start the uh, like the shading of his face kind of. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from here. This middle block into three right here. And just tracing it going down into the left all the way around. We're just going to place it like tracing the wall. So we put one here, fill this in. Then tracing it to the left more, we're going to put one in this single right here tracing it more right here so each of these blocks we're just going to trace these grays so at one we get one to the right of each of them then go up here trace this one so just put one to the right of each block and then when you get up here you put one on top of each of them so you should have something like this just outlining it and we're not done there yet we're then going to go to this two vertical light grays we have right here that's next to the two vertical science stain clay and we're going to go up and to the right two flat light gray wool so one, two, and then from that two flat, we're going to go to the right block, put one on top of it, then go up into the left one single, and that locked out the shape for us. So now we can color in this entire corner with light gray wool. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Okay. There's still a little bit more light gray stuff to do, but we're going to get there when we get there. Um, we're going to do the eye next just so that we have something to work off of. So the way we're going to do the eye is we're going to go down here to where we have this single in between the two vertical and three vertical right here. And from that single, we're going to put one to the right and light gray wool. Then we're going to switch over to our dark gray wool or just gray wool if you're playing on PC. And we're going to go three to the right of it with the gray wool. One, two, three, just like this. Then above that three, we're going to put another layer of three. So one, two, three, just directly above it, except we're going to extend it over one extra to the left. So it's four. And then going to the three left blocks in the four we have here, we're going to go above them and put another layer of three. One, two, three. So this should be your Ghost Rider eyeball. And now we're going to take back out the light gray wool and finish um, coating whatever we have to coat. 
So the first thing we're going to do is go where we have this single right here that I'm swinging at. We're going to put two light grays to the right of it. One, two. And then this corner right here with the two verticals are going to get filled in as well. And we're almost done here. All we need to do next is go down here to where we have this up down pattern in his mouth. And this one right here, this gap all the way on the left is going to get one inside. Then this gap over here is going to get one inside as well. And now for the final pieces of light gray wool, we're going to go up to the eyeball with this first row at the bottom right here. So where we have this first three to the right of it, we're going to put three more going to the right with light gray wool. One, two, three. Then going to the third block or the last one we just placed, we're going to put one above it. Go up and to the right one single. And we're going to leave it at that. Okay, the rest of it now can be filled in with white wool. So we're going to do that. Just take your white wool out and fill it in. And it should look like what we have waiting behind us. Um, I don't think I need a potion. It's like it would be nice to have the potion on Xbox 360. But getting the potion out on PC is kind of confusing. And I don't want to mess it up. So yeah, looks correct. Looks kind of weird from up close, but from far looks good. And we still need to finish up the the flame so we're going to use yellow stained clay first and then we're going to use yellow wool after so switching over to the yellow stained clay what we're going to do is go over to the orange stained clay we had over here to where we have this single and we're going to go up into the left from it one single up into the left two vertical up into the right two vertical two times in a row so one two that's one one two that's two then we're gonna go up into the left two vertical again followed by one single so up into the left one oh my goodness one two then placement block up into the left one so that's just starting the flame right there and for this flame what we're gonna do to fill in the coloring parts is we're gonna go to the farthest left part over here right you see we have the two vertical that's farthest to the left we're gonna go to the bottom block in it and put four going to the right of it. So one, two, three, four. And now everything below that is gonna be filled in with this orange, I mean, this yellow stained clay. So just make sure you get every row. And just bring it up to what we already had. Perfect. And now for a little minor details, we're gonna go into this corner right here, put one extra yellow stained clay. Then we're going to go below this two vertical on the right right here and drag it down an extra two blocks. So one, two. And then we're done with this little piece right here. We're going to add on more. So going to where we have this four vertical right here that I'm staring at, <coughs> we're going to go above it and put one yellow stained clay. Then this two vertical right here is going to get one yellow stained clay above it as well. Except from that one that's above the two vertical right here, we're going to go above it and put one on top one to the right of that and one to the left of that so it looks like a t kind of or a tetris piece whatever you want to call it then from the middle of that little tetris piece we just created we're going to put another block on top like so and add two to the left of it this time one two from the left two blocks and the three flat we just created we're gonna put one above each of those so it's creating the fire pattern then from the left block and the two we just created we're gonna put one above that then we're gonna go up into left one single then up into left three vertical one two three so now we're gonna switch over to the yellow wool and i'm gonna show you where the yellow wool kicks in right here all we're gonna do is go to this row right here where i'm kick i'm showing you the two vertical the bottom one in it and we're gonna put two yellow wools to the right there one two and then everything below it it gets filled in so freeze the screen if you have to make sure this looks like this and then go into filling it in we're gonna just switch to yellow wool one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Perfect. Now we're gonna switch over to our yellow stained clay again, and we're gonna work the next part of it. So, um, actually, I want to bring up some of the right side. So, what we're gonna do for the right side is we've. Oh my goodness, weather clear. Yeah, weather clear is good. We're gonna look at the right side we have right here. And above the final two vertical we have right here, we're going to go above it 
and put one yellow stained clay. Then we're going to go up and to the right from it, one single. Up and to the right, three vertical, one, two, three. And this is like kind of the highest point on his right side. So we're going to bring it down to the left from here until it touches down. So from this first single that we placed, we're going to go down here and put one single right here. So you see there's a gap or a space. Then from this single we just placed, we're going to go down into the left two vertical. And everything down here now is going to be filled in yellow stained clay. So just fill that all in. Now we're going to switch over. Actually, no, we're already on our yellow stained clay. So we're good to go. Um, we're going to switch over into doing more at the top of the head. So we're going to go above this one orange stained clay. And we're going to go above it three vertical pieces. So one, two, three. Now from the top block on that three vertical, we're going to put one to the left. So it looks like this now. And it should be two flat right here. Just leveling it out next to the one single black wool. So from the two flat right there, we're going to put another layer of flat on the top of it. Except this one is going to extend it one to the left and one to the right. Now from that four flat, we're going to go to the two on the right right here and put two blocks above the first one on the left. So one, two and three blocks above the one to the right. One, two, three. Now from the three we just placed on the right. So these are the three we just placed. Whoops. We're going to go to the bottom one. So this one right here, put an extra or yellow stained clay to the right of it. So it looks like this now it looks really messed up, but you should be able to follow along. And then we're going to scroll over to our yellow wool. And from the one we just placed right here, this dangling block, we're going to go down into the right one single up into the right three vertical. So one, two, three. And now everything down here is going to be filled in with yellow wool. So let's just do that real quick. And once again, I don't think I need any potion. Then you shouldn't either. It should be really easy to catch up. So we're almost on the final part of the, the what you call it, the flames. So let's get along with it because I really want to be done with this pixel art. Like it was fun building it, but annotating it. So something, it's a whole other job. So we're going to switch over to our orange stained clay right now. I mean, our yellow stained clay, sorry. And what we're going to do is go above this one single orange stained clay we have right here. And we're going to put yellow stained clays go on top of it, going to the right until we hit the next orange stained clay on this side. So it looks like this right now. And then from there, we're going to add an extra two to the right. One, two. From those extra two to the right, we're going to go below each of them and put one extra single. So one, one. And now let's work from left to right. So from left side where we have this, we're going to go above this to where the yellow stained clay is and we're going to put an extra block on top. Then go up into the left four singles. One, two, three, four. Then from those four singles, we're going to put two empty. So placement blocks above it, followed by a yellow stained clay. And then you can delete those placement blocks. The yellow stained clay is just supposed to be like a spark of fire. So what we're going to do is from that single block, go to the left of it and put yellow wool going straight down. And once you touch, that's your cue to kind of just fill this all in with yellow. wool. So all of this is going to be yellow. So just fill in row by row. And then above the tip right here with the yellow um, wool, we're going to put one blank wool. So one placement block and one yellow wool just to get a yellow spark going up as well. And now here's where we start closing it up a little bit. So switch over to your yellow stained clay again. And starting from the top left right here where we have all these singles right here, we're going to go to the third one. So one, two, three. And the third one right here is going to get one block to the right of it. And the fourth one right here. So go down from the three to the fourth one is going to get two to the right. So one, two. Now from that two to the right we have right here, we're going to go to the block below it. So this single right here. So first we put one to the right. Oops. We put one to the right to this single. Then we put two to the right to this single. We'll just keep going down to the right. So now we're working with this single right here. And all we got to do is add another two to the right. 
So one, two. From there, we're going to shift over to the left of these three blocks. Two yellow wool, so one, two. Then we're gonna switch back over to our yellow stained clay. And to the right of these two yellow wools, we're gonna go up three yellow piece, um, pieces of yellow stained clay. So one, two, three. And from the top block right there, we're gonna go to the left of it and put four yellow stained clays going straight up. So one, two, three, four. Starting from the bottom of the four we just count, counted, we're gonna count up three blocks. So one, two, three. And on that third block, we're gonna switch over to our yellow stained clay and put one to the left again. And now we're gonna switch to our yellow wool and coat this side of the flames. So starting at the top right here, we're gonna go to the middle block right here and the three singles and go below it and put one yellow stain, I mean yellow wool. Then down into the left, two vertical yellows. Down to the right, two vertical yellows. So we have this now. And all we have to do now is at the bottom block right here and the two vertical yellows, we're gonna put one to the right and then color in this entire area down here with yellow wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Now switching back to our yellow stained clay, we're gonna go to the very tippy top right here and we're gonna up and to the right, two singles. One, two. And from the left block in those two singles, we're gonna go up and to the left, one single. And the right block in the single right here, whoops, my bad. We're gonna go down and to the right, one single. Up and to the right, a single again. And then down and to the right, a single a third time. So it should be six blocks. Just go up, down, up, down, up, down, like that. Now we're gonna switch over to our yellow wool and this block right here on the, the bottom. So you see the first one on the bottom, we're gonna put one yellow wool above it and then one yellow wool above the one to the left of it. So I'll have this. Then going all the way to the right side we're on the last block on the bottom, we're gonna put one yellow wool above that and then go up and to the right, another yellow wool. So it's kind of symmetrical like that. You'll see where, when it all comes together later. <laughs> Anyways. We're gonna go back down now to the bottom half right here. Cause remember what we did, we put two yellows down here. Then we started the yellow stained clay. So we're gonna do something similar to that again. We're gonna put two yellow wools to the right. Then switch over to your yellow stained clay. And we're gonna go up five yellow stained clay. So one, two, three, four, five. Now above that five, we're gonna put two yellow wools just to lock out the shape. But that's not our main focus right now. So just do that and then get back two and two down here where we're working at. Um, we're gonna ignore the top two. So these top two ones and the five we just placed get ignored. Then we're gonna switch over to our yellow stained clay. And the bottom three and the five we just placed, you're each gonna get one to the right of them. So one, two, three, just like that. And here's how it should look if you did it correctly. It should start at the level where we have the two flat yellows and then go up two more. One, two, like that. And then from the middle block and the three we just created, we're gonna go to the right of it and put one single there and it connects at a diagonal like this. So that's how you know you did everything correct. So now to finish up this tutorial, you can color that in with yellow. I'll color that in with you in a minute, but it's not also, it's also the, the like pieces that aren't done yet. So I'll just get into that in a second. But first over here is where I wanna finish up with. So from this block right here, right next to the one we just placed that single at, we're gonna go to the right of it and put one yellow, then one yellow on top of that. We're then gonna go up and to the right, three yellow wools, vertically, one, two, three, then a placement block, then two on top of that again. So you should have this. It should finish right on top of that single we left up there. And now it's time to switch out to the yellow stained clay. And all we're gonna do is on the top of the two yellows right here, we're gonna put one yellow stained clay. And on the bottom of the three verticals right here, we're gonna put another one like that. And now you can color in these little finished unfinished pieces right here with yellow wool, not yellow stained clay, yellow wool. And we're done with this part. Now this is the final part of the tutorial. We're gonna go on the left piece of yellow right here and extend it up three more, one, two, three, then a yellow stained clay, then two yellow wools, one, two, like that. And on the right side, we're just gonna extend it up. One, two, three, whoops three, four, five. And that's gonna be left empty right there. There's nothing to color in right there. It's just like a hole in its flames. So that's the finished pixel art. Um, if you guys got this far, then you should be happy. You see it looks like that on the other side as well. 
So hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit that like button for more Marvel and DC type of pixel arts. Um, I'm going to leave the screen like this in case you want it, guys want to like some of you guys build it without watching the tutorial. So you can like pause it right here and see where the blocks go. Hopefully this helps you enough to build it. And yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. This is Phoenix. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye.